Hey friends, I'm Missy and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going thrifting at another new store for all of us. So I'm really excited to bring you here today. This one is called For Pet's Sake and it is a high-end resale boutique and all the proceeds go to the Humane Society, which is a super great cause. You will see some higher prices in here, but I am okay with that because I have lots of fur babies. And so to me, it's just another way to donate to them. So really excited. I was chatting with the lady who runs the shop towards the end when we were checking out and she is currently caring for 85 cats guys how amazing is that i think that is wonderful and i was really excited to come to the shop today i will also show you what i pick up throughout the video and how i'm using it in my home there's a lot of great stuff in here and i'm really excited to bring you inside and check it all out today hi how are you good and that right there is a printer's tray i just hung mine up on the wall I did show my printer's tray styled on Instagram the other day. I shared a picture of that. So if you do not follow me there, it is Ohio Vintage Home if you want to check that out. I think it looks super duper cute. There's a candle snuffer. And that is $10. That brass one. This is really cool here too. That stone, that is heavy for sure. Cat's Meow Village, $5 per piece or $20 for the complete set. Those are really cute. This down here is really pretty. This is $15. I think it is an ice bucket. Yeah. I do like the plaids on that though for Christmas. Reminds me of the really cute thermoses that are like that. It's a Linux clock for 10. And then they got this cute little guy right here, T, and that one is 20. They do also have some really nice purses in here and clothing. So you can see some of the purses over here. It looks like they have a Vera Bradley and then like a iPad case there that's Vera Bradley. But I was looking at these brown purses, I think these would be really nice for fall. I like this color for fall. Tight quarters in here as well. That one's pretty and it looks like we have a Tommy Hilfiger bag right there. So several. Here is a Tianalio bag. I think that's how you pronounce it. If not, correct me down in the comments. But I thought this black one was really nice as well. And then it looks like they have a backpack right here for 15 says cowboy but i thought this mirror right here was really nice you know i'm looking for things for the bedroom and this guy whoop, is 30. it's also kind of neat how they have it set up here on that stand i never would have thought of anything like that but just a little wrought iron stand with a mirror granted it's short <laughs> but still a really neat idea we're going to go ahead and get into our commenter shout out for today's video and it's Daniel and Laura Baxley. Hi Missy, your antique hutch is just beautiful. What a find. I wouldn't do anything with its flaws. I would just polish that beauty up and decorate. I have two antiques. One is a hutch and the other I call it a china cabinet. Both are really old, probably between 75 to 100 years. I love antiques. I very much enjoy watching your videos and seeing all the treasures you come across. Have a fabulous day, Laura. Thank you, Laura and you have a fabulous day as well. I really appreciate it. Really pretty. There's the McCoy on the bottom. So that is pretty nice. All the fruits, the sparkly fruits. And then Hubby spotted, he said that there were lots of these gooseberry patch cookbooks, which I love, but these ones aren't the ringed ones on the side. Those ones are hardback. So I think we'll check out a couple of those and see what we might be able to find there. Okay, I got one of the books out. This is the Christmas one, book six, and it's got this wreath on the front. I'm getting a glare there. And this is, yeah, Gooseberry Patch Christmas six. And I got this one out because I liked, of course, the red and white check on there for my kitchen. But what is neat about these is that not only do they have recipes in these ones, they have like little crafts that you can do. And I teach um, Sunday school at church and the kids would enjoy little crafts like this. Look at that cute little cookie mix in that jar. 
the sign says that all of the books are 50 cents unless they are marked otherwise and I do not see a mark on this one so I'm assuming it would be 50 cents yeah there's a sign books are 50 cents or as marked so I'm assuming this would be 50 cents because they were not marked and then I spotted this Bible up here so I wanted to check it out see what it looks like on the inside see what a copyright date might be that's always neat when it has the information in the front looks like 1952 maybe got a really heavy afghan there new little basket they have a lot of um they have a lot of um, falls graph the salt one is really neat for $25. I'm always kind of drawn to those salt crocs like that. I think they're really neat. Spotted these right back here in the corner. They're between these two stands right here. I almost missed them. And there are four angel candle holders with the candles. And they are $8. And they are like this clear glass. And I thought those were really cute. Very pretty. Vintage Christmas. And eight bucks for all of those plus the candles I thought was a really good price. Almost missed these little hens on nests too. The clear one is 10 and then that one there that's kind of like a pearlescent or something is 25 on that one there. So 10 and 25. Now this hen on nest right here is hiding in the stand. I don't know if I can get it open or not because there's something kind of in front of it. But isn't that a pretty pink and it says that it's long burgers like a basket weave on the bottom and it is 50. this tall cloche right here is pretty cool i believe it's 15 dollars because that's the tag that's sitting by it right here this thing is massive i don't know if you can see that or not like a big bell and i think that might be something that could be really cool styled up with a big candle and something in it and some lights I think that could be really really pretty especially coming up for the holidays Let's see this is like a oh that's a lot heavier than I thought candle holder there let me see if I can set it on here real easy turn it over it is five dollars but the tag there we go five dollars yep that is big and heavy I'm gonna try to get out of here real easy. This is really cute. <laughs> okay, mason jars, 12 mason jars made in the USA. Anchor glass, vintage. What? And then look at that box. Okay, those are 10 bucks. And I think these are gonna have to come home because that is totally, totally my decor vibe. Can you guys see that or am I blocking the light? Look at that box. That is super awesome. Again, I don't want to give away too much for fall because the first decorating video will be in the kitchen on August the 1st, but this is where I have put my mason jars for now. This is on top of the refrigerator and I have them sitting up here on this basket and they go with my decor so well. These cups here, these are vintage, yep. Vintage Blendo, six for $25. Those are nice looking. Several different colors. Some Campbell's pieces. This dish set right here, I think it is $30 for the set. Tabletops Unlimited. It is pretty though. Very pretty. Some Christmas cups. Some plates, a Starbucks mug there. I don't see a price on it. Maybe it's on the inside. No, not sure. Cute little March angel. I think of Nicole Northgarden when I see angels because I know she collects them. This looks like a Longer Burger set for 10. Yep, I like the Longer Burger pottery. I think it is really, really nice. Look at that toaster. Now that is vintage. $15 for that toaster. Oh my goodness. Well, that would be a super neat Christmas. No, kitchen decoration, not Christmas decoration. Whoop, I see something down here wooden that's grabbing my attention. Oh, what is this? Yep, and I think it goes with that cone. 
Yep, let me see the price on that. That is $25 for that one. No light zone back there. Yep, that is 10. And then what is this? It says 25 or 20, 25 to 30 on eBay. What is that? Does anybody know what that is? <coughs> Let me know down in the comments if you know what that is. Is it for medicine? It looks kind of like a medicine lid. Yep, let me know down in the comments if you know what that is. I'd be curious since they have a tag on it that it's on eBay for that much as well. It's a cute little box. Flowers. Ooh, lots of angels here. Got some cute things over here. That is really cute. I've seen that before. I'd love to find a piece of Pyrex. That would be awesome. But I don't know if I will. Not down there. Ooh. There's a big container of fruit. Like a big thing of wooden fruit. I see grapes. I don't know. I don't see a price on it though. Oh, that looks like a banana. I saw some wooden, uh, I saw some wooden fruit. A Goodwill. I don't know if you will have seen that video yet or not because I don't know if I'm going to put this one out or that one out first. But there was wooden fruit like that in a bowl and it was $14.99. Look at this little guy. Okay, how much is that? $35. That is so awesome. Why am I whispering? Okay. I think I have to have that because of my kitchen in my herbs this year over here is where i have put my little chicken it's so adorable i don't want to show you too much because i don't want to give away my kitchen for fall but i have him nestled right over here for now in this corner 15 ebay otagiri love will keep us together oh i wonder if it works This is adorable. Look at this little Mickey conductor hat, and that is heavy, like a really heavy plastic. <laughs> it is $18. I probably said that is adorable about 20 times today, so I apologize for that. Oh, Elijah loved trains growing up, especially Thomas the Train. He was obsessed, and he will still pull out some of those Thomas the Train DVDs and watch them. Oh, insulator for five dollars. I couldn't think of the word there for a second. Hula hoop. What does that say? Table and mirror, seventy dollars. Oh, I see. Mirror right there. It's got some games. I see your life down there. For cornhole. Yep. Pets news best. Yep. Little cornhole bags. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we got back here on the stand. Some pretty clear glass. This one kind of catches my eye here. It is Fostoria and it is $30. And it is pretty sparkling. And then there's something kind of neat back behind there for 25 and then this egg here yeah. just caught my eye because it was kind of like the shape of a fairy light yeah i thought this right here was kind of neat whatever this thing is does it say it says it's 25 i don't know if that's old or not it looks like something i've seen at disney when i was there and it is 15 and it is like the band made in taiwan walt disney productions Amazing that it doesn't have any chips on it or anything. There are definitely a lot of really nice pieces here. Now, I do not resell when I am shopping. I'm only shopping for my home, basically. So, a lot of these things, you know, would be great things to resell on eBay. But I do not do that. So, that's $8. What is that? That's kind of a cute little crock, isn't it? Let's see if we can see if that says anything on the bottom. Get it over here in the light. 
Now it's got some really bad drips there on the back on the finish, but very cute little size croc. I was thinking like for pet snacks, wouldn't that be really cute? For your pet snacks. Go ahead and set that back on there. Okay, let's see what kind of clothes. Those are cute little shorts right there. I could never fit them, but they are cute. I do want to take another closer look at the purses because I am looking for one for fall in a brown color. Anything back here in the Christmas? What's this? Southern Living Christmas Cookbook. I would love to find a Santa mug. What are these little guys? $12. That's a cute little figurine. Oh, it looks like Home Co. <laughs> Swoop. What is down in here? I see something with a Santa. Now he may be new, he may be old, but we are going to dig that out. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. I think we may have found something. Two dollars. Oh no. Made in China. Burp, burp, burp. Down here under where we were looking at the Blendo glasses, I just noticed this like canister set or glass jar set. And they say on the top, Fido, no Fido, Fido, I'm not sure. But they say made in Italy. And then on the bottom, it has a four. It is $5 for this one. And there is a set of three. There's one, two, and three, and they do all shut really nicely. I was thinking about getting them for canisters, but they are small on the top. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't fit a scooper or anything down in there, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they were just kind of used more for saving stuff, for storing, not dishwasher safe. Five dollars, and then it has the Made in Italy barcode on the bottom. Oh my goodness, did I miss this the first time around? I knew we came through here because we looked at this desk and this hula hoop. This is why I always make a second pass. Look at this guy right here. The only thing is, I'm guessing by the look of the plug that it is more vintage. It is heavy. I don't know that it actually says anything on the bottom. I think it said something right there maybe or no. Maybe that's just where it was casted together. It's got a little thing on there to turn it off and on. That is like gorgeous for Christmas time. I don't know how much it is though. There's no tag on it so we'd have to find out. I am standing on the couch so if it gets a little wobbly I apologize but here is that candle I picked up today. I have it sitting on top of this hutch right here with a basket and my garden encyclopedia and it does work and it is so darling and I really cannot wait to find its final place coming up for fall in here and for Christmas. I do hope that you enjoyed this video today and that if you're in the area of St. Clairsville, Ohio, you will check out this store for pet's sake. Remember, all of your purchases are donations towards the Humane Society for all of the fur babies that we love. Go ahead and check out the video right now on your channel for more thrifting fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.